In this video we're going to take a look at how to incorporate speech and sound uh, using the Domo Go Animate Studio website. Uh, so first we need a few characters. Um, I'm going to uh, pick a few that uh, would clearly be uh, set on a Mars landscape. Uh, so we'll pick these two here. Okay, uh, so again, I'm going to have to flip this character uh, so that they're actually speaking to each other. So uh, for a lot of this, you know, you want to start incorporating uh, different actions and things like that. So, but we'll just start with uh, some speech and other options using the text. So that is using the uh, word bubble section here. I'm just going to use a regular uh, text balloon and I'm going to have the uh, older person here uh, say something first. Uh, now obviously I can't indicate that he is speaking using this so you're going to want to use the options to change the direction of this um, and I'm going to have him uh, say something uh, quite short. Uh, how did we get here? Question mark. Okay. Uh, and if I don't like the, the length of this, I can uh, click on it, shorten that, move it down. And if I want, I can uh, make this larger and it'll sort of adjust the text based on the size of that. Um, now, one other thing that's kind of nice to do um, is for facial expression, you can pick talking when the characters are actually saying something. Uh, and then I will add on the scene. Now he's not going to be talking in this, uh, so I can just switch facial expression to default, and this is going to be what it started as. Now I'm going to have the uh, younger girl here um, say something. Actually, I'll have her start by thinking of something. Uh, I, I'm going to put here, uh, I should lie or I'll get in trouble, dot, dot, dot. Uh, now that's a little bit small, so I can uh, enlarge this. And uh, sometimes, I mean, uh, you can do this with different characters. If particular characters have fonts that would identify their style of speech, you can also go down here to uh, pick a different font type for, the, for this. Uh, so I'm going to use this very difficult to read impact label. Uh, you can left align this. Uh, you can also uh, insert hyperlinks uh, and change the background color of this. So I'm going to go with uh, a, a yellow for her thought bubble for no particular reason. Uh, so I'll add on a new scene and then I will have her speak out loud. Um, and then I'll, I'll put a longer piece of text here just so I can show you a few things uh, with this. Uh, don't you remember? Uh, this is the field trip that you scheduled for this morning. Okay, now that is a very large piece of text, so I really need to maybe think about uh, enlarging that. Uh, make sure that it doesn't overlap that little uh, bit there. So I'll, I'll make this a fairly large piece of text, uh, and I'll use the same uh, difficult to read font. And if you want, you can uh, stay consistent with, you know, some sort of uh, background color for those. Uh, okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a, a preview and uh, sometimes it's good to read these out loud to consider the speed that your viewers are going to be uh, reading this with. So I'm going to preview. Uh, how did we get here? Okay, there's enough time to put that. I should lie or I'll get in trouble. Don't you remember this is the field trip that you scheduled for? Okay, See, that's where I would not have enough time to uh, put all of that. So on the timeline down here, and switch the duration to four seconds, just so that it lasts a little bit longer. Um, and that's about the maximum that I can put in. I should have her uh, 
talk. Sometimes I find it easier to have them uh, talk, put in the, the talk animation afterwards. That way you don't have to keep switching back to default all the time. Uh, and on number two, uh, for when she's thinking, um, I can give her uh, just sort of a different facial expression. Let's let's see if we can find something here that will work. Um, maybe I will have her confused. There we go. So just, just a little something to add in uh, to underscore what's going on. Now to work with the sound in this scene, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, some voice sounds, although we can't actually have the characters talk. You might have to use some other program to do that. Uh, I'm going to go to the sound menu. Now uh, the things that we get here are music, effects, and you'll notice that there's nothing in voiceover here, but if I go to the domo section, uh, there are a few uh, different voices that I can put in here, um, but only for two characters. So uh, I'm going to have the uh, elderly person, um, maybe I'll have him talk with this voice. Okay, good enough. So uh, if you find something that you like, you can just click and it will appear down on the timeline. And then uh, for her, I will have her use, uh, you can look at the length of these. So I want something that's a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to remove that sound. Maybe I'll put a few of put a few of the a few of these in a row uh, and it'll sort of look like this so I'll preview and then show uh, okay and then I'll close that now uh, this could really uh, benefit from adding some music in this so uh, we should look through here for something that uh, works quite well. And you should also pick which um, scene you want it to start at. So I am, I'm going to do uh, the incorrect thing and I'm going to pick the Tibetan monks sound there and I'll click to put it on. Okay. But you'll see what happens is that it uh, plays on number three here, uh, but we should actually slow that down a little bit. So I'm going to delete this down here, remove the sound, and I'm going to put it on uh, the first frame instead. Uh, so I'm going to put the Tibetan monks here, and I'm going to make it 50% volume here. You can also uh, notice how uh, incredibly long it is, uh, so we can shorten this down to any amount of time. Let's preview. Okay, so we'll close that. Uh, and then uh, after we're done, we can take a look at uh, some different effects that we want to put in. Um, now, a lot of these will rarely uh, make sense, but maybe on this second frame, I am uh, going to put, let's see what we have here. Ooh! Uh, maybe this will be my thinking noise. Uh, I'm just doing Ooh. this as, as an example uh, so that we can put in some additional uh, things there. Uh, so that's the basics of using the different sound um, sections as well as putting in uh, text.